Oh, oh. No. Wow. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. So, uh, you know, we got these black Kyrie lows right here. Yeah. What is it that you want me to do this time? I'm kind of going to revisit to what we did back in high school, the fire and ice. Uh, fire and ice, yeah. Dragon Ball Z's. Yeah. I think what would be crazy is you leave some of the black on there just so it leaves the contrast, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff to play with on this shoe. Is there anything, any words of importance, anything that you want on this shoe? I'm going to put a Raven Farley on there, Armani and definitely my grandma's name. Okay. For sure. Then we might uh, change some, some lace colors on there just to make them pop a little bit more. Yeah, I'm with it. Looking forward to it, my guy. Appreciate it. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Kickster Domus, and this time we're gonna be working on these Kyrie Low 2s for one of my good friends, Nas Reed. We go way back to high school when I hooked up some Dragon Ball Z What The Joints for him, so we're gonna revisit that fire and ice theme. This time on these Kyrie Lows, we're gonna make sure we put his whole family on the midsoles just to make them a little bit more special. Let's get to it. So this is my first time working on this actual base shoe. So there's a lot of different materials, different patterns, texture. Nothing I haven't done before. All right, y'all, so I'm finally done with these Fire and Ice Customs for my boy Nas Reed. Put his whole family on the midsole. You know, they're very important to him. Added that lightning touch, and I'm excited to see these hit the court. Dope. I like these. Got all my family members, uh, my sister, all the female family members, my sisters, and things like that. And uh, just the two different colorways, just like these. So thanks, kids. I appreciate these. 